the lockdown last night. My men are sir. The poor girl. The list is a resourceful one. We probably found a safe place. To it's true, your sir. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. I want you to do it. It'll make this business pass all the quicker. Servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now, if you'll join me, men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree. I agree. A whore dive. <laughs>
wash you out. I know you're somewhere around here. You won't stay hidden for long. I'll find you. You, it's gonna be bad. What we have is a man. She's my sister. She's not a What's witch. I know. No. 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 You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Heard something.
Where have the overseers gone? They wade through chest-high waters with their hounds. Isn't it a bit long for the map? I think, Corvo. It's Samuel. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith should live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I want to congratulate you. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Can I be of service to you? did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. It is 
is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and action. The state depends on you. the golden cap. Not hesitation. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Corvo, my friend, do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. 
It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. It's best. Corvo, a moment if... Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. 